Hello and welcome. I'm Tim Irwin with EA Technology. Today we will be showing you how to perform transient earth voltage testing to detect internal partial discharge using the UltraTev Plus 2. We will also be showing you how to use the optional UltraTev Plus 2 locator probe to help determine where the TEV source is. When the UltraTev locator probe is used with the UltraTev Plus 2, the source of the PD can be located within four inches. The locator probe utilizes time of flight detection of the TEV wave between two probes to determine which probe is closest to the PD source. By simply moving the probe around on the gear and determining which probe detects the TEV pulse first, the source's location can be determined. I hope you enjoy this presentation and find it useful. Please do not hesitate to contact us at EA Technology if you have any questions or would like a demonstration of the UltraTev Plus 2, the UltraTev Plus 2 locator probe, or any of our products. Thank you very much. Hello. Today we're going to learn how to do a TEV test using the UltraTev Plus 2. After starting the UltraTev Plus 2, you press TEV on the main screen, and you will enter the interpretation mode. Interpretation mode gives you a lot of valuable information for your initial assessment. Color-coded red, green, and yellow it will give you your amplitude of the measurement. It will give you pulse per cycle count, severity, and the results of the algorithm determining whether you have partial discharge or noise. To take a measurement, you, you take the instrument and you press it up flat against the metal surface, making sure that the instrument is flush against the metal, firmly pressed, and you wait for about 10 seconds for the values to stabilize. Once stabilized, you can either press the pause button to freeze the screen, or if you want to capture and save these values, you can press the blue button to start an ad hoc measurement. When the blue button is pushed, a 10-second countdown timer will begin. And once completed, you will be asked to enter in information to complete the survey, starting with job number and engineer's name. More about doing a survey and recording data can be found in our survey video. Some of the other screens that are going to be useful to you while doing a survey or taking measurements are going to be the phase plot, the histogram, and the waveform. Looking at the phase resolve plot, you would push phase resolve plot, take the instrument, and again press it up against the metal, and wait for about 10 seconds and observe the phase resolve pattern that will appear on the screen. If you have noise, it will just be a random scattering across the, the screen. If you have partial discharge, you will see two clusters forming 180 degrees apart on the screen. Here is an example of what partial discharge will look like. And here is an example of what noise will look like. The waveform capture is a good third check for a TEV measurement. Again, you enter into waveform just like you did with the interpretation and phase resolve plot, and you put the instrument up against the metal, and again, you wait for about 10 seconds for it to stabilize. Internal partial discharge has a very distinct waveform characteristic. It will be a single spike high above the background noise level, very, very narrow in bandwidth. Here's an example of what a partial discharge waveform capture looks like. If you have a repeated pattern, a sinusoidal pattern, that will be most likely considered noise. Here's an example of noise from a TEV measurement. The final screen that's of use to you when doing testing is your histogram screen. The histogram takes all data points and plots it 
by amplitude across the horizontal on the graph, and it gives you a numeric count of each amplitude. If you have partial discharge, you will get a clustering of data. If you have two PD sources, you will see two different clusters of data forming on the screen. TEV attenuates over distance. So if you have two different PD sources, you'll have two different amplitude clusters on the instrument showing that you have different distances between the two. The UltraTEF Plus 2 locator probe is an accessory for the UltraTEF Plus 2 that allows you to locate a TEV PD source to within 4 inches. The UltraTEF Plus 2 locator kit consists of the locator probe and an extension cable to be connected to your UltraTEF Plus 2. When connected, it allows you to detect PD by time of flight indicating on your UltraTEF Plus 2 which of the two probes sees the PD first. By moving the probes around on your switchgear, you are able to narrow down and locate where the PD source is coming from. You begin by plugging the UltraTEF Plus 2 locator probe into your UltraTEF Plus 2 by aligning the red dot on the cable with the back of the UltraTEF Plus 2. Once plugged in, the indicator light will light up on the locator probe, and you can enter TEV mode by touching your screen and selecting locator from your choices. You will then be told to calibrate the locator probe and the plus two by holding the TEV plates together To accomplish this, you press the front of the units together and you press the OK button or the middle blue button on the display. It will give you a calibration complete indication and you press OK again. And now the units are calibrated. From the UltraTEF Plus 2 main menu, select TEV and then Locator. The display is Segmented in half, the left-hand side is red, which corresponds with the red locator probe. The right side is blue, which corresponds to the blue UltraTEV Plus 2. Locator mode can be used to locate PD by showing which probe detected the TEV si signal first. It shows this with a green first indicator on the blue right side of the UltraTEF Plus 2 if the UltraTEF Plus 2 is closest to the source, or the red left side if the locator probe is closest to the source. For accurate determination of precedence, it is important that the trigger levels are set to a suitable value. The trigger level sets the threshold of the detection circuit so that no pulses signals below the trigger level are detected. Therefore, it is important to ensure that the trigger levels are set to higher than the noise floor while also com comfortably below the maximum level of the PD. In most situations, the trigger levels should be of similar value on each probe and not deviate by more than 5 dB. Having the trigger levels more than 5 dB apart may affect the accuracy of your result results. To set the trigger level, you will press the plus and minus buttons to change your level. To switch over to the opposite probe, touch the side of the screen that you want to set the level for. The locator probe level will become highlighted and now you can set the values by using the up and down buttons on the UltraTEV Plus 2. For each probe, there is a T-cycle indicator, which correlates to the number of triggers detected per 16 millisecond period of time for a 60 hertz system. 
This can be used to confidence check that the unit is triggering on PD. For example, if the T-cycle indicator is in the hundreds, it is likely that trigger levels have entered the noise floor. PD is normally between 1 and 30 T-cycles. When more detail is required than simply knowing which probe a PD source is closest to, for example, when there is more than one source, locator advanced mode can provide more information than standard locator mode. The control controls trigger levels and basic operation is the same as standard mode. However, the UltraTef Plus 2 display shows a histogram of all received pulses. This can show not only which probe is closest to the source, but can also be used to locate multiple sources. When the histogram peak is on the left-hand side of zero, the source is determined to be closest to the locator probe. When the histogram peak is on the right-hand side of zero, the source is determined to be closer to the UltraTev plus two. Multiple PD sources will show as separate peaks on the histogram. Thank you for watching this video on using the UltraTev Plus 2 and the UltraTev Plus 2 locator probe for TEV testing. If you have any questions or would like to arrange a demo, please do not hesitate to contact us at EA Technology and we will be happy to answer any questions or get you a demo for your own use. Thank you and have a good day.